what I can do in the model is I can use the model to understand how immigration will be changed by increases in Mexican wages, which is something that you sort of has been happening over time and you can expect to continue happening. What I find is that if you increase Mexican wages by about 10%, what this does is it reduces illegal immigration by us by about 10 to 12%. And if you think about these numbers, this is a surprisingly large effect. Because if you think about what the average Mexican wages are, they're quite low, especially compared to US wages. So we're thinking on the range of maybe two to three dollars for the population that moves illegally. So thinking about a 10% increase in Mexican wages, we're thinking about 20 to 30 cents in hourly wages. And this has a, what I think is a very large effect on illegal immigration. And if you take this further, what this means is, um, what's going to happen to illegal immigration over time. The U.S. government often talks about increasing enforcement to um, you know, try to make it impossible for people to move illegally, but this is suggesting another mechanism by which illegal immigration might reduce drastically. As Mexican wages continue to improve, what this means is that people are going to be less and less likely to move to the U.S., which means, to some sense, it could just go down um, without any actions by the U.S. government. Again, depending on what happens in Mexico. But if Mexican wages were to continue to increase, you would see a pretty substantial reduction in illegal immigration. And the reason for this is pretty intuitive, in that all things equal, people prefer to live in Mexico. That's where they're born, that's where their family is, that's the culture they know. They don't want to move to the U.S. Um, for any reason other than the higher wages. So it's not that you're going to need equal wages between the two countries to get illegal immigration to stop. Um, you know, you're just going to need some increase in Mexican wages so that people are going to, in some sense, just prefer to live in Mexico at that point. In terms of the wage versus enforcement question, the way that I like to think about it is that maybe illegal immigration isn't the big deal that it's sometimes portrayed to be. If the Mexican economy keeps growing through, say, policies like NAFTA, which led to better trade between the U.S. and Mexico, thinking about other policies that might just naturally lead to increase, increase in the Mexican economy, well, maybe this is a problem that's going to kind of get smaller and smaller over time.